Facing along and about to pick it up from the inside, we have Manaroa, just to good Yankee rhythm, Reichman, welcome advice, and on the outside is Royal Ascot. The six champion faces are moving along in perfect unison. Royal Ascot on the outside wants to hang back just a fraction. By golly, this mobile travelling at speed too as they hit the starting point. Blue light flashing, wings fold, racing in the Miracle Mile. The Victorian Reichman left the gate like a bullet and with a dazzling turn of speed, Reichman had raced straight to the lead on the first corner. Just too good going to settle down behind Reichman. Manaroa running third, followed by Yankee Rhythm. Welcome advice is awkwardly placed three deep as they go to the back and Bernie Clark will have no alternative but to kick up and he'll race without a trail now. And Royal Ascot beaten for early speed as last of the six as they wheel into the back straight a lap and a half to run 29 seconds for the first quarter they're really motoring Reichman the leader the Victorian pacer in front a length and a half on just too good welcome advisors moving up to race at that horse's wheel with no trail Manarella's awkwardly placed pocketed running fourth on the fence Yankee Rhythm moving up now to join him and two lengths away last is Royal Ascot as they turn the corner they've covered a half mile we'll get the unofficial time for the first half in a moment Reichman is the leader a length of the half to just too good. Welcome advice having a tough run on the outside with no cover. The first half in a scintillating 58 and a half seconds. Manaroa is in on the fence, pocketed on the inside of Yankee Rhythm and Royal Ascot is last. Now coming off the fence, the tail Yankee Rhythm racing to the back after the bell inside the three. Reitman increased his lead. Reitman going like the wind in front now. Two and a half lengths on, just too good. Welcome advice is third on the outside. This leader's got them struggling. Manaroa is behind just too good. He can't get clear. Then Yankee Rhythm and Royal Ascot. But look at Reitman go. Leaving the back, moving to the turn. A furlong and a half to run. It's all right. Reitman, the Victorian, increased his lead five, six lengths in front of Just Too Good. Battling on is welcome advice right around the outside. Royal Ascot and Manaroa has nowhere to go, but the bird has flown. Reitman, well clear in the home straight, moving into second place and running on well is Royal Ascot. But here is the easiest of Miracle Mile wins coming up. Reitman has won by a day. Reitman bolted in, he scored by seven lengths to Royal Ascot. Manaroa third, a distant fourth is welcome advice who had a very tough run and then just too good and last of the six is Yankee Rhythm. 159 unofficially. Ken Arnold um, on his watch makes them 159. They got a little bit tied over the latter stages but they were entitled to with their first quarter in 29 seconds, their first half mile in a dazzling 58 and a half and the crowd roared when Reichman had them all struggling at the two furlongs peg. He led three lengths at that point, increased that lead to six lengths on the corner and has won by at least six lengths or maybe a bit more and has always been uh, one of the most brilliant speed horses in Australia. He has registered several sub two minute miles but never has he been more magnificent than he was tonight. The Miracle Mile, 158 and two-fifths officially. 158 and two-fifths, we've got a new champion. 158 and two-fifths is the official time and the mighty Halwez's record has been shattered. 158 and two-fifths, a new Miracle Mile record and a new Australian record under race conditions to the flying Victorian Reichman. Well, there it is. Um, we made them go a little bit slower than that, but you've got to remember that um, we have difficulty in getting them spot on the markers, particularly the half mile, which is at the top of the straight because we're looking right at them and um, you can does the best job he possibly can and it's a pretty good job, but sometimes they could be 10 or 15 yards either side of the half mile pole uh, before we can get them anywhere near accurately or the mile pole rather but the official time is 158 and two fifths a new australian and a new miracle mile record taking one fifth off the previous best held by the mighty hal wes a very excited a very jubilant wreck talking dots the cap to the crowd as reichman parades in front of the main stand Reitman is by Chief Spring out of Rem Nation. He's an eight-year-old bay gelding, and what a magnificent thing it is that he's been able to retain that brilliance at a veteran age. Most horses lose that uh, turn of speed when they get on in years, but Reitman possesses tremendous pace, a 
you don't see horses leave the mobile gate as quickly as he did tonight very often. He cleared them in 20 yards and was on the fence by the time they reached the winning post the first time. Reichman is raced by Messrs RHS and V Hawking, so it's a real family affair and what a great triumph for Ballarat. Number eight, Royal Ascot second. He came from last off the track, a bay gelding by Prince Charming out of Morsel, trained by Colin McLaughlin, driven by Alan Harrison. And number two, Manaroa got third after being hopelessly snookered for a run until well into the straight, not that it would have made much difference. A bay gelding seven by Murano out of Flying Mile, also trained by Colin McLaughlin and driven by Neville Hargrave. Reitman from Victoria becomes the seventh winner of the Craven Filter Miracle Mile. And he started second pick with on-course putters. He's won by 16 yards officially. 16 yards, the official winning margin, less than it looked. In fact, a fair bit less than it looked. Two and a half yards between second and third, the official fourth, number seven, welcome advice. You can't win these sort of races facing the wind when they're going their first half in 58 and a half seconds. And that's the reason Welcome Advice finished fourth. There's the all clear, all clear, and uh, Yankee Rhythm has been placed officially fifth. But by G, a long way from the winner. The TAB dividends, New South Wales tap dividends, we have them officially after the beaver. Beaver on course on a 25 cent basis, Sydney Racing. Numbers were 6, 8 and 2. Reichman paid an even dollar for the win and 55 cents for the place. The second horse paid 85 cents. No dividend for third. One dollar the win, 55 the place, 85 the second, no third.